Team News. The latest on Granite Shaka. Granite is making good progress in the initial stages of his recovery from a medial knee ligament injury sustained on September 26. The current aim is for Granite to be back in full training early in the new year. All other players in the men's first team squad are currently fit and available for selection, with all players returning from international duty with no significant current issues. As part of Premier League protocol, all members of our first team squad and support staff continue to be regularly tested for COVID-19. Arsenal boss Mikel Arteta reckons Shaka could be out for three months, but thinks the Swiss star will do everything he can to reduce his time on the sidelines. Arteta said, with Granite, I don't know, but I'm sure that if you tell him three months, he will be thinking two months. He will be trying to do extra work to try to minimize that time, that's for sure. We have to do it in the right way because it's a significant injury and we want to have him back properly when he can. Matteo Guendouzi shows Arsenal what they are missing as France star brilliant for Marseille and has more goals and assists than any Gunners midfielder. Mikel Arteta and Arsenal may have got things wrong when it came to Matteo Guendouzi as the midfielder continues to star for Marseille. The 22-year-old was ostracized by Mikel Arteta following an incident in a defeat to Brighton where he grabbed the throat of striker Neil Mopé. He was excluded from first-team training and it was believed to be the culmination of a number of incidents that saw Arteta keen to get the player out. Last season, he went out on loan to Hertha Berlin and this campaign headed to the League One club. The midfielder clearly has huge potential and has been starring for Marseille so far this season. Guendouzi is popular with his teammates and was named as the club captain for this season. He was also picked as their player of the month for September thanks to his brilliant performances. The France international scored two goals in the 4-1 win over Lorient on Sunday, helping Marseille climb to third in Ligue 1. His first was a looping header from a Dimitri Payet corner and the second came in injury time to seal the victory, slotting past the goalkeeper after a fine run into the box. It has been a superb couple of months for Guendouzi as he forced his way into the France national side and helped them win the Nations League. The midfielder now has three goals and two assists so far this season, better returns than most Gunners players. Only Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang has more goals, five, than Guendouzi while Nicolas Pepe has the most assists for Arsenal with two. Marseille have an option to buy the player at the end of the season and he could head to the club permanently upon certain criteria being met. When recently asked about Guendouzi, Arteta said, I think he's having a really good spell at Marseille and it's part of the plan we made with him. He's continued with his development and we'll make a decision at the end of the year. Crystal Palace boss Patrick Vieira has slammed Arsenal defender Ben White's admission that he doesn't watch football. The £50 million gunner revealed he only views games to assess his performances but Vieira claims that shows White lacks passion for the sport. Vieira whose Palace side take on White and his Arsenal peers today, then went on to suggest only English players aren't obsessed with football, as Cesc Fabregas and Thierry Henry watched it every day. Vieira said, Watching games shows the passion and love you have. Thierry would watch any kind of game in any league in any country. He knew everything about the game. I played with Cesc Fabregas and the Spanish players watched games every day. It's a different culture here in England, not better, not worse. But in France or Spain players watch football, also Italy where I played as well. This revelation from White and Vieira's response to it certainly makes for an interesting subplot for the meeting between Arsenal and Crystal Palace on Monday night in the Premier League. Did you like the video? Like, share.